Hello everyone, how are you today? I hope you have a great day today. So this is the 16th of March 2022 and this is on Wednesday. So uh, this is a video and today I would like to talk about one of the topics about uh, Ichimoku Kinkohyo. And uh, this is the question I get uh, oftentimes by email or when I review the comments on YouTube, I get this question or this comment uh, oftentimes and that's why I wanted to pick this topic today and uh, also uh, recently actually that was uh, the day before I got the email specifically about this question from someone so uh, that's why I decided to take a video today and explain about this specific topic so uh, let me start so let me uh, switch the scre screen Okay, and uh, so uh, before starting here, a quick disclaimer as usual is that uh, this is all for educational purposes. So if you are trading yourself, please uh, take note that uh, all the trades are should be done by your own risk. And also, uh, since this is a video in, in my YouTube channel, uh, if you can please follow the guidelines and rules, that will be great. Because after all, we're all here to learn. And also, very quick announcement uh, is that the uh, I do not have Telegram, I don't have Instagram, I don't have Facebook, and I never send direct messages on this SNS, including Twitter. I don't you send the direct messages. So in case you see, you see if you receive these messages, um, that's not me. So uh, please be careful because there are many scammers out there nowadays. So. Uh, yeah, so this is the uh, 16th of March. We are towards in the middle of uh, of the of the month, and today we have uh, FOMC, so uh, we might see some volatility in the market. But um, today, as I mentioned, uh, I would like to talk about one specific topic about uh, Ichimoku Kinkohyo. And um, before that, recently. Uh, there are many new members in my community, so I'll briefly explain myself, introducing myself. My name is Kei, and I am a Japanese uh, trader, forex trader, and I do it for full time. And um, in my YouTube channel, I talk about many topics, but uh, focus on the Ichimoku Kinkohyo itself, because I myself use Ichimoku Kinkohyo for the last uh, six or seven years already, and uh, I have been successful by uh, basically uh, using my own strategy with the Ichimoku. And also I have studied Ichimoku from the original books and I read them, read them already over 20 times, but still I learned something new. And that's why uh, this is my motivation and passion to share uh, the knowledge and wisdom of the Ichimoku. And that's why I do this YouTube channel. And the goal for this YouTube channel to help you become a no losing trader. So I uh, hope today you can uh, enjoy today's talk. So um, yeah, let me introduce one of the emails about today's topic, and that is here. Let me uh, share the screenshot. Okay, so uh, it says, "Hello, Master K. Thank you for the YouTube lessons. I learned a lot, and my trades are improving day by day. Thank you so much. First of all, thank you for this email." And uh, whenever I see this email, I see this, uh, you know, messages. Thank you for like uh, improving my trades. I really feel, uh, you know, very appreciated to share uh, your experience. So uh, it's been my honor to be able to do this on YouTube. So uh, thank you so much for this uh, warm introduction on your email. And then uh, he says, by the way, which line is the most important? Uh, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen? or any other lines. Uh, I would love to hear your opinion regards, Alex. So this is today's topic. Which line is the most important, Tenkan Sen or Kijun Sen or other lines of Ichimoku? So before I reply, before I answer this question, please take a moment and uh, think about which line is the most important in Ichimoku 5 lines. Um, in general, um, all the lines are equally important uh, because Ichimoku is complete by five lines 
So if you miss one of these lines, you can't do the Ichimoku analysis correctly in the right way. So in that sense, all the lines are important, but um, there are some priorities. Which one is the most important or which one is the base of all the other four lines? So um, as you may know already, uh, there are five lines of Ichimoku. One is Tenkan-sen. The other one is Kijun-sen. And there is Senko Span AB. And Senko Span A and B are creating the Kumo. And then Chikou Span. So let me switch back to Trading View. So I won't say the answer yet. But please uh, try to think what is the most important line in Ichimoku for you first. But uh, yeah, so here is trading view. And this is the gold chart. This is gold in a daily time frame. Now you see the market retrace backwards uh, since uh, 9th of March. And it broke Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen now. The market is dropping downwards. But uh, if you look at this uh, market, you know, let me take out the candles first. And this is what I like about the trading view is that I can cancel the candlesticks and you can only see the indicator. So, uh, like I mentioned previously, the blue one in my chart color setting, this is Tenkan Sen, and green one is a Kijun Sen, and this is bullish Kumo, and in the bullish Kumo, Tenko Span A is uh, above, Tenko Span B is below, and then the yellow one is that Chikou Span. Chikou Span. So which one do you think is the most important? And there's an answer to it. There's an answer. So, have you thought about which one is most important? So now, um, let me tell you the answer now. So the answer is the Kijun Sen. Kijun Sen is the most important line. And based on the Kijun Sen, Tenkan Sen is here, and Kumo is here, and Chikou Span is here too. And the reason is because um, originally in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, there were only Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. So there were only blue and green lines in the original teaching. In fact, if you read the original book of Ichimoku and uh, Goichi Hosoda, the original creator of Ichimoku, you talk only about Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. Uh, and the original teaching, uh, when he was posting his analysis on the newspaper, uh, he was only mentioning the Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. And so Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen are original lines, but the Kijun Sen is the most important. And in fact, Kijun Sen is in Japanese, and what Kijun means is that Kijun means base. Kijun means the baseline, and Tenkan means the conversion line or uh, change. Uh, when you when you see things change, that that's when we say Tenkan in Japanese. So uh, Tenkan means change or convert, and Kijun means uh, base or standard in, Jap in, in Japanese. So um, so Kijun Sen is the base, and Tenkan Sen conversion. And what that means is that, uh, let me even cancel Kumo and Chikou Span. And let me talk about these Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen first. You know, the reason why I talk about all these is because uh, these basics are very important uh, to understand the essence of uh, anything. Whenever you study anything, you better learn the basics and concept first. So, Kijun Sen is a base. So let me take out the Tenkan Sen and only leave the Kijun Sen first. Okay, so here is Kijun Sen, the green one. And um, so Kijun Sen is a base. So what does that mean? Is that uh, Kijun Sen is the baseline of the market. And that's what it simply means. So if I show the candlesticks, then you can see that the candlesticks has been up and down through the Kijun Sen. If I squeeze the chart all the way like this, you see the market has been through the Kijun Sen. When it breaks, it goes above Kijun Sen. When it breaks below Kijun Sen and goes when it's range, 
the market goes through up and down through the Kijun Sen like this. So, and when it's trending up, the market above Kijun Sen, but soon the market retraces back to Kijun Sen. So, the market always comes back to Kijun Sen, whether it's range or trend, and that's the base line Kijun Sen. But uh, if you only have a Kijun Sen, then um, you are not sure when exactly the market starts to be bullish or bearish. So to, to be able to capture that, uh, go to host the added Tenkan Sen. So when I add the Tenkan Sen conversion line in English, you see this cross, gold cross and death cross. Uh, and the concept of gold cross, death cross are very close to moving average. So looking back here, there was a gold cross of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen afterwards, the market went up this way. And then uh, let me take a, it's a drawing tool. So the market went up. And after this dead cross, it went down below Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. And then after here, there was a gold cross Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. And this one was a fake. And afterwards, there was a dead cross and gold cross. So uh, when it gold cross, basically it means that the market is bullish. And when it dead cross, the market is bearish. But in the range, it doesn't work in Ichimoku. In moving average, you may see it works, but in Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, in the range market where the Kumo goes flat and Kijun Sen is flat, uh, these Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen crossovers uh, do not really work. So just be careful. But uh, so basically, Kijun Sen is a base, base price level or the market level of, uh, of the whole time. And Tenkan Sen means the conversion. So Tenkan Sen really means that it convert the market market um, converts when they cross, when they cross, and that's what Tenkan means. What that's what conversion means um, in Japanese. So you can see that when it, when the market is bullish or bearish. But uh, let's say the market converts here. If I take this example uh, over here, hold on, let me see. Over here, um, when the, you, when you saw there was a Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, Gold Cross, then the market went up. And when it stops uptrending is also the question. When it stops uptrending is when the market breaks Kijun Sen, basically. And when the, also when you see Death Cross of Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, this is when the market stops uptrending. And then it converts to bearish downtrend. So Kijun Sen as a baseline of the market, when Tenkan Sen converts, when Tenkan Sen converts above, converts and uh, comes above Kijun Sen, that means the market is bullish. And when Tenkan Sen uh, converts below the Kijun Sen, that means the market converts from bullish to bearish. And that's why Tenkan Sen is called conversion or Tenkan Sen means conversion in Japanese. That when the market converts from bullish to bearish or bearish to bullish. So, and this is basically the essence of Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen. So, once again, Kijun Sen is the baseline. Kijun Sen is the standard market level of all time. And Tenkan Sen is the supportive uh, line to Kijun Sen for us to be able to capture the conversion from bullish to bearish or bearish to bullish. And so originally, Goichi Hosoda introduced Tenkan Sen Kijun Sen and he was putting his analysis on the newspaper, but uh, obviously that was new technique that was introduced in Japan and uh, he's got many questions from other people. And uh, whenever he talks about the market, and uh, you know, whenever he talks about the Ichimoku lines, these two lines, Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, then uh, you know, he get many questions. And that's why he thought you know it might be better to have other supportive lines to Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen, and that's why he added uh, Kumo and Chikospan. 
So before going to Kumochi Kospan briefly, also, uh, you know the name Ichimoku Kinkohyo? Ichimoku means at a glance in Japanese. More precisely, Ichi means one, and Moku means eye. These eyes are in Japanese. So Ichimoku means one eye, and that means at a glance in English. So, um, like, uh, yeah, yeah. So, anyways, uh, you know, we have many saying uh, in Japanese when, when we say Ichimoku. Like, uh, when it's something obvious, we say Ichimoku in Japanese. So, Ichimoku means at a glance, but it also means obvious uh, in Japanese. But, uh, so Ichimoku means at a glance in English, and Kinko Hyo means, um, kin, so Kinko means equilibrium and uh, hyo means uh, the chart hyo means the spreadsheet or the chart and the this is also a, a bit of side talk but uh, you know kinko hyo means uh, kinko means equilibrium so equilibrium the market is captured by the kijun sen and that's why there was the kijun sen is a baseline kijun sen is equilibrium the market and Tenkan Sen tells you when it converts equilibrium from bullish to bearish or bearish to bullish. And uh, back then, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo was actually, you know, called Kinko Hyo. And Kinko Hyo means Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen because it can capture, it captures um, uh, the equilibrium point in the market. So from this name also, uh, Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, you can tell that. There was originally only Tenkan Sen and Kijun Sen. Goichi Hosoda used to call uh, this as Kinko Hyo. He didn't say Ichimoku Kinko Hyo, but he said he used to call it Kinko Hyo, like Kinko Hyo Gold Cross, he says, or Kinko Hyo Death Cross, he said, when, it, when he describes these Gold Cross Death Crosses. He didn't say Gold Cross, he didn't say Death Cross, he said Kinko Hyo Death Cross, Kinko Hyo Gold Cross. So that's a little bit of, uh, you know, off topic. But uh, speaking about the lines of Ichimoku, so uh, he added Kumo and Kijun Sen. Uh, sorry, Kumo and Chikou Span. So let me show Kumo first. Okay. So Kumo is, as you may know already, Kumo is shifted 26 candles to the future. And uh, Kumo means the long term. Market momentum. So, Tenkan Sen is short term, and Kijun Sen as mid term, and Senko Span B as a long term. And Senko Span A is the supportive line to Senko Span B. So, short term and uh, mid term, sorry, the M, short term and mid term, and the long term is what. Really, Ichimoku looks at. So, but uh, Kumo is supportive to Kijun Sen Tenkan Sen because so right now Kumo is placed here. So that means um, the market. So Kumo's here, right here at this moment in price levels. Tenkan Span A is um, 1966.25, and Tenkan Span B is. 925.93. So these are the two levels for the future reference. And you monitor the chart along the way until this date, which will be uh, which will be 20th of April. So by the time uh, when the market uh, comes to 20th of April, uh, you want to see whether the market is above or below Kumo. When it's above the Kumo, then that means the market is too bullish. When it's below Kumo, that means the market is too bearish. And when the market is in between Kumo, Senko Span AB, that means the market is range. That's what simply means. And that's why Kumo is shifted 26 candles to the future. So that uh, you know uh, the market situation uh, on the 20th of April from now already. You can kind of you know forecast the future in this way. So Ichimoku is not here to predict the future, but Ichimoku is to is to uh, 
plot the future reference points and as you monitor you know whether the market retracement is strong or weak or a sideways range in three different terms Tenkan Sen, Kijun Sen and um, Kumo here I hope that makes sense but uh, Kumo is supportive to Kijun Sen is what I want to say and then Chikou Span so Chikou Span is the only lagging uh, indicator lagging uh, chart uh, li lagging line chart and it takes the close price close price of the candles and this is also shifted 26 candles to the backwards and that is a chikou span and the meaning of chikou span is that uh simply speaking um when chikou span is above candles that means the market is bullish overall in chikou span when chikou span below candles that means that is the market is bearish and when chikou span is with the candles that means the market is range that's what simply means so like in this example um when chikou span above candles which was here in the actual market this was bullish and when chikou span comes below candles that means the market is bearish like this so chikou span simply captures the momentum of the market whether it's bullish or bearish also and this is for the mid-term market momentum buyers and sellers so well actually there's more to it in chikou span but for today's video i just wanted to talk about the the ichimoku essence five lines and that's why uh i wanted to explain briefly and to get to the point to answer that question so once again um Ichimoku has five lines and when I first saw the five lines of Ichimoku I thought it's complicated and that's why I preferred uh, moving average or other indicators than Ichimoku but now I use Ichimoku only because it gives me more, much more information much more uh, knowledge and wisdom about the market so but uh, Ichimoku so once again Kijun Sen as a base Kijun Sen as a standard uh, market level Tenkan Sen uh, is a supportive to uh, Kijun Sen and also Kumo is supportive to Kijun Sen and also Chikou Span also supports the market momentum whether it's bullish or bearish or range too and with this you know five different parts five different elements uh, in Ichimoku we analyze charts holistically like this way and that's basically what I share, um, you know, in my YouTube channel like this. So, um, yeah, so today is a basic, uh, today was a basic uh, knowledge about Ichimoku. But uh, I hope uh, you get the idea and uh, get deeper understanding of Ichimoku like this. Because, uh, you know, sometimes I see people talk about gold cross buy, debt cross sell, come on break out to buy or sell span break by ourselves like this but uh ichimoku is not that simple actually and because it's not that simple uh when you really understand the concept and the, when you really understand the depths of ichimoku philosophy then it becomes very powerful but uh if you only focus on crosses to trade i think that will be very difficult and you might get into many fake outs and fake signals in ichimoku and I think that's also the uniqueness of Ichimoku because the concept is so much different from other indicators. And in fact, that's why I like this Ichimoku because I feel that once you get it, uh, you, won't, you won't forget and you, you will really see the power of it. So I hope you get this idea also and continue to study every day in uh, real life markets. And... Uh, I also do the Ichimoku community. This is monthly subscription. And if you want to see more, if you want to know more about the Ichimoku, then you're always welcome to join. So uh, you can see the all description below in the description. Uh, so you can feel free to check. And uh, if you're interested, uh, you can join the Ichimoku community where I also do some extra live streams in this community too, about the deeper level of Ichimoku knowledge. 
So yeah, so that's it for today's video. I hope you enjoyed it and uh, I will see you on the next one. So yes, oh today there will be FOMC in the US. So just be careful, FOMC and rate decision will be there. Most likely the rate will be increased gradually over time. But uh, we better care be careful what kind of effect the market gives. So yes, I will see you there. And uh, until then, please stay healthy and stay safe and stay gold. All right, bye for now. Matane. Thank you.